Greetings, everyone. My name is Sam. So, a quick recap. Back at the start of September, my father gave me an ultimatum. Either be making X amount of money by the end of December, or quit YouTube. Now, a casual glance at my Patreon will reveal that that didn't exactly happen. So, yeah, that's a thing. And I know that I'm supposed to be all sad and choked up about it, but I'm really kinda not. Now, obviously, I do love making YouTube videos. It is the greatest job in the world. But not only am I not sad about it, I'm very optimistic about the future for a couple of reasons. Firstly, even though we didn't end up making the goal, I did see a surge of new people jumping in to help me out, and look, I know that YouTubers say this shit so much that it eventually loses all meaning, but the fact that so many people saw potential in me means a lot. It seriously, seriously does. So, if nothing else, I appreciate that so much. You have no idea. The second reason I'm not sad about this is because it's not really the end. I still have the SNL thesis to finish, and I can still make other YouTube videos in college if I want to. And if I want to is very much the operative word in that sentence, because I admit, I've been getting kind of burnt out these last few weeks. I got into this cycle of trying to make more videos, which led to a lot of stuff coming out that I didn't really like, which made me want to spend more time on videos, but then videos weren't coming out regularly enough, which made me depressed, which then made me not want to make videos anymore, and whenever I wasn't making videos, I'd be beating myself up for the fact that I wasn't making videos, which just led to more depression and an ever-decreasing desire to actually do the thing I'm paid to do. But now that it's going back to being just a hobby, and not something I have to do or my future will be ruined forever, that's taken a lot of stress off my back. Third, I think there's been an ever-increasing feeling among YouTubers that the platform is slowly dying. The idea of a self-sustaining ecosystem of content creators making their own livings was a nice dream, and one that YouTube obviously once upon a time tried to support, but after years and years of YouTube constantly losing money instead of gaining it, and especially after the adpocalypse of recent memory and subsequent mass demonetization of videos, it seems YouTube more and more resembles the Titanic. And sure, I could stay locked in my cabin with the dream that everything will just work itself out and be okay, but the best case scenario in that event is that the door holds and I just end up trapped at the bottom of the ocean. Whereas, the smarter decision probably is to use one of the lifeboats that my family has specifically set aside for me. The only people who could possibly stop that at this point are the ones who go out and support the people they love on Patreon, but even that feels like just a band-aid. The number of people who are financially secure enough to give their money to others is so small, and it is so incredibly rare to gain any new patrons when it's a lot easier to spontaneously lose them, that if YouTube completely collapsed tomorrow, I doubt many people would have enough to fall back on just the Patreon money. And if all those channels suddenly had to rely on Patreon for everything, then there'd be a huge push to give them all the support you had, and the patrons would be stretched thinner and thinner until eventually there'd be nothing left for anyone who didn't already have a huge amount of them beforehand. And if that were to happen, there is no way I'd be one of the ones who survived. And finally, the last reason I'm not saddened by the event is because it gives me time to pursue other interests. I mean, keep in mind, I've been making YouTube videos since I was 14, and I'm almost 21. Let that sink in. Almost half of my fucking life has been spent trying to do this one thing, and so much of my personality has built itself around that goal. For example, I really like playing through old classic games in my spare time, to sort of expand my cultural lexicon of game knowledge, so that if I have to talk about that game in the future, I can do so with some authority. But I only did that, and only liked doing that, because it made my videos better. But is playing old games still something I'd be interested in after I stop making YouTube videos? I mean, who are we without the structures that build us? Who am I without YouTube? 
I have no idea, but I'm kind of excited to go find out, you know? And recently, I've taken up drawing in my spare time, focused more on exercise and trying to get in shape. I want to learn how to sew so I can make cosplay. I want to learn Japanese so I can go to Japan. I'd love to learn some basic automotive engineering so that I could look at the Cthulian monstrosity that is my car's engine and go, ah yes, the floopy do is conflicting with the defibrifier. I'll just fix that real quick, as opposed to right now where I poke it with a stick before running away. I want to try a crack at programming, go kayaking and hiking, maybe learn how to make music. So much stuff I've always wanted to do, but just haven't had the time to commit to because I was so laser focused in on YouTube. And hell, I've already started doing a lot of that. So all of that is why I'm not really that depressed about having to quit, and more than anything, am really optimistic about the future. So to you, my loving audience, don't cry because it's over. Except do. Do cry. Do be sad, because I was a golden god of art, and like Van Gogh, I'm about to die in poverty and dishonor, but smile because it happened. So, that leads us on to the Patreon. That's going to be shutting down effective immediately. So, since the Patreon's closing, I sort of have to start thinking about what I'm going to do with all the previously patron-exclusive stuff. And what I've come up with is that I'm going to start uploading the patron-exclusive commentaries onto my second channel, Psy Live, linked below, over the next few days. And also, the previously patron-exclusive Discord is now public, so if you want to talk to me, now you can, link below. Although I do maintain the best way to keep up with all my stuff is on my Twitter, at that guy, but choices are important. So, that's about it. Thank you guys all for watching and for your support over the years, and I'll see you in the SNO thesis. Later. And now, a very special thank you to all of my Patreon patrons, including Joe Anderson, Forgotten Paladin, Princess Scotch Tape, Logamorphos, Dingo's Trash, Sidney Bennett, Jada Prog, Calvin Ryman, Ludwig, Isaiah Christo, Mythnut, Soul, Renataja, Ita Marcelo Adrian, Ralph, Ralph De Loritis, Mimi Peach, Tyler Classen, Dragon Artist, Jay, Noob Defeater, Albrighter, David Hardegree, David Reichberg, Craig McLure, Madam Blue, Moko, Ivan Martinez, Jar of Morphing, Dark Claw White Dragon, Ketatheb, Gulwig, Henrik McFlyboy, Fetch Me Their Souls, Giovanni Jazuda, Elvrida, Dallas JK, Von Goliskai, Gargamon, Alex C, Sebastian Roger, Weaver of Worlds, Samuel Stumpf, Aaron Davis, Cody Wisner, Alex Armybull, Gregor Smart, Cody Parnell, Greg Anson, Jesse Williams, Lightning Spirit, Urban the Myth, Wedivide, Scorch, Thomas P. Buheimer, Matt Rezos, Dankos Gaming, and Pierre Creditem.